up guys? Thanks for tuning back into my channel. It's Neve with Aromatics. For those of you returning, thanks for coming back to my channel. And those of you that are first time viewers, if you don't mind, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell to be notified of whenever I post content just like this one. Today, I'm gonna to be reviewing uh, some fragrances that were sent to me over from Saudi Arabia. These are all oud-based fragrances. Um, I, and I kind of just want to go into depth and detail as to my impressions, my reviews. These are ones that obviously they're not really talked about. You know, uh, your typical ouds that you see in the fragrance community is something like uh, uh, oud for glory, uh, oud for greatness, Inicio and Latafa and all those clones and stuff. And kind of westernized, uh, if you will, uh, oud fragrances that I think are, yes, they are. Some of them are great, but... I feel as though they are they are somewhat westernized and um, in my opinion I think that there are a lot of great other alternatives out there that honestly even in that price range you just haven't maybe haven't heard of them and uh, that's what this video is all about you know this is about community this is about Fragcom coming on you know seeing some new fragrances and exchanging our opinions views reviews and all that good stuff so I'm happy to announce that I do have some fragrances that are brand new, hopefully new to the scene. If some of y'all have heard this one, you know, you can go ahead and skip this video or, or just, you know, stay tuned for my thoughts and my review. Um, and for those of you who are, you know, uh, have never really heard of this, this line or brand, um, maybe you can pick it up. I will provide some links as to the stores and we will get this party started. The fragrance line that I'm gonna be discussing today is actually called Oud Elite. Okay, so there it is. Oud Elite. Oud Elite started in 2007 and they took the market by storm. Uh, they got really famous in the, particularly in the Middle East and their fragrances started with just a collection of 13 and then they grew exponentially. Um, this is one that I told my cousins in Middle East, obviously Saudi Arabia, where I got these from to pick nothing but the best and this is one of the ones or a couple of the ones that they decided to send it over so take that with a grain of salt but to me it means something um the first one that i'm going to be discussing is an actual absolute gem okay and when i say this i i mean it um i got this about two years ago um the first fragrance we're going to be discussing is called excuse the bottle i had to crack this one out of the vault that's not dirt man that's 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 called appreciation okay <laughs> so you got a little wood grain at the top here you got wood and it's it encased in, or enveloped in uh, plastic obviously you got the house name on the top oud elite um it's nothing special it's not that not that heavy of a cap um sprayers just a silver sprayer man there's nothing to it it's just a sprayer the juice that amber color it's beautiful juice um so at first I was like, whoa, what is this? Did they send me like some $20, $30 cologne or something like that? You know, they cheap out on me, man. Come on now. But in fact, they did not. This is actually one of my favorite Oud fragrances in my collection. And so when I think of Oud, I don't think of, of fragrances like Oud Wood or Tobacco Oud. Tobacco Oud, I will say, in my opinion, is more realistic of an Oud when you're talking in terms of Middle Eastern Ouds, Middle Eastern fragrances. and as you know the latter um however whenever i think oud i don't think of those others you know like oud for glory and all that stuff and they're great they're they're amazing i remember when i first started my journey i was like oh these are amazing but now when i put my nose on those i'm just like eh, boring whatever there's it's fantastic i mean tom ford has some fantastic scents but when it comes to the oud i let it be where it originated and that's you know over there with those guys the middle east indian oud Cambodian oud, you got all kinds of ouds and you know, they know what they're doing man They've had decades and, and centuries or I don't know, maybe not centuries decades of Well, yeah, actually in fact centuries of oud and fragrances and you know incenses and all that stuff So if you want the real deal go to the source and I'm here to give you that so elite blend is number one <laughs> Give you a little side note before we get into the real notes um it's hard to find these, man. You'll find them maybe on eBay. I don't know if you guys don't trust eBay, then that's fine. I, there are two stores that I trust that I'm gonna link in the description down below. One of them is called orientalfragrance.com and the other one is called intenseoud.com. And these two websites, they're very, very useful. For those of you who are like, where can I get these fragrances and are just sick of going on eBay? These two actually 
will, uh, you can see all of the like, there's like six, six like top of the line brands in, of uh, Middle Eastern fragrances. And they have a pretty nice catalog. I will say that oriental-fragrance.com uh, has a, uh, a bigger selection. Um, and so back to the notes. Elite blend, um, notes of Indian oud oil, saffron, musk, amber, and sandalwood. Think about that combination for a second. So you've got the Indian oud oil. Indian oud oil, in my opinion, it's not as skanky as uh, other ouds that you might smell in something like tobacco oud or, and even that, that's not a skanky, it gets even dirtier than that, man. So if you guys are familiar with that animalic oud that you can find or like civet notes, uh, if you're not familiar with that, then the uh, best thing I can say is maybe go get your nose on a latent exclusive. It's got, it utilizes that civet note, uh, Tom Ford Noir, the black one, utilizes a civet note. Personally, I think that there's a time and a place for all accords. That one is great. I have both of those fragrances. I actually like it, man. There are some uh, uh, occasions, in my opinion, that those are appropriate in. However, um, that oud, back to topic, the oud that's in here, it's not that animalic oud. Um, next note, we got the saffron. Saffron is absolutely gorgeous, man. It's one of my favorite notes right there with iris. It's used in some of my favorite fragrances like Bac uh, Baccarat Rouge. Um, and yeah, so that saffron kind of just uh, smoothens out any edges, uh, you know, just as well as you might smell like an iris. It kind of has that like uh, cloudy airiness, if you will. Um, that's what the saffron is like that's in here. And then you got the musk and amber. Uh, the musk actually does the same thing, in my opinion, relatively similar to what saffron and iris do. It kind of gives those edges a little fluff around them, makes it a little bit easier to wear. Um, you got the amber, which gives it that depth, that richness, uh, gives it that juiciness, resinous. So you think of something like uh, honey, whatever. This is far from honey notes. There are no honey notes in this, but that's just what uh, you know, image strikes in my mind is amber, uh, resins, all that good stuff. I remember I used to play the violin and we used to have those resins that we would take. There's like this block of like resinous wood and you just uh, brush it, excuse me for all you violin, uh, you know, uh, enthusiasts and all that stuff for not being 100% accurate with my uh, analogy here and you would rub it on those. So that's like the resins, man. That smell was just amazing. It's still it's stuck in my head and it'll always be in my head forever. Anyway, and then we got sandalwood. So the sandalwood is, is nice. It gives it a creamy edge. Sandalwood is one of those uh, woods that, uh, and in combination with the Indian oud oil is amazing. Uh, I read an article that one of my Facebook friends actually posted in uh, our group. And if you're not in the group, in the Facebook group, man, get connected with us on the Facebook, get in these conversations. We have amazing conversations with amazing people and you're gonna be one of them. So uh, that sandalwood uh, in combination tandem with the Indian oil, uh, Indian oud oil, I think is perfect because those are two uh, essential oils that generally uh, is in, of Indian uh, descent. So there's an extensive history with uh, sandalwood being used in the Indian culture. And we got the Indian oud oil to um, mingle with that. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys my impression on this fragrance. Uh, I'm rambling on. If I keep going like this, this is going to be a 20 minute video. So I'll try to pick up the pace a little bit and get this going. So this is one that I do say for special occasions. This is my absolute favorite oud fragrance. Um, one of my top three, hands down. There are different uh, versions of this. There's the silver and then there's a musk version or a brown. Uh, this is the one that I got sent and honestly, I'm in awe. So. I pick up the sandalwood. This is so well blended. It's honestly, it's amazing. The oud, like I said, it's a very refined, clean oud. And it's not clean in the sense of that this is a freshie. No, it's not a freshie whatsoever. It does have the depth. The amber is there. So at the base, it's like a, like a bowl of just like amber, rich, sweet amber. And then you got the oud in there. Oh my God, it's so good. It's got like this cloudy, cloudy, airy feeling without being light. This is thick, this is rich, this performs amazing. This lasts on my clothes days. But it's, what boggles my mind about this one is that although it lasts for days, it's not a fragrance that you can just spray on and it's just like, oh my God, get this fish off me, you know? So good, so airy. It's like, uh, yeah, this is like amazing. This was the dry down. This is one that I don't mind spraying on my hand, um, just to get, give you guys kind of the opening. So at first you might be turned off. There is a slight pungency from that oud, but that fades away, man. This dry down is absolutely gorgeous. 
There is a pungency oud, and then you can kind of pick up the uh, 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 saffron. So that pungency will slow down. It will kind of take a back seat to the sandalwood and the amber. Absolutely insane. This is for those of you who are dabbling into the oud world and you want something that's not necessarily safe, but not necessarily absolutely like, oh my God, did somebody like die in here? This is very like, this is that perfect right in between because you get that opening that's going to satisfy you, that edge that you're looking for with the, uh, you know, the animalic oud which then settles down and kind of brings it back right up in center and it just places itself amazingly. Oh my God, you guys, this is so good. Honestly, Elite Blend. If you guys don't have this, do yourself a favor and pick it up. This does run at the time of making this video. It is running for about $100, $110. So this isn't like a cheapie, man. This is by no means a cheapie. And honestly, the quality of this juice garners like so much respect and attention from my family and it's just it's manly it's do i see this to be unisex it could be it could be but that musk and there's just something to it that i feel like has more of a, a masculine edge it's not sharp you could wear this as a woman as a confident woman you could however this isn't one that i'm gonna be like here women this is for you um yeah this is worth every penny guys so check it out oodily this is the Elite Blend. This is not, this is the black label. There are some, don't get mistaken, by the brown uh, labels. There are some brown ones and stuff. None of that, okay? Uh, next one up that I got here for you guys today is called, it's also by Oodaly. These stickers are kind of cheap, man. Don't, whatever. They kind of start to come off. I tried to put it back on. You can see, look at that. That's like a, that's my attempt at, okay. It's all right. So it's called Pure Black Oud, okay? This one, I'm not crazy about it, but it's not bad. It's something that it's a little bit different. So I love having different, you know, variety of fragrances. That way you're not stuck to one feel. You're not stuck to the same genre, the same attitude, the same character. You know, every day you're feeling different. Every day is a new day. There's a new, new attitude, new weather, new events, whatever you're going to do. There's always something that can suit that day, that activity. And so that's why I like to have a variety of fragrances, whether it be genre, whether it be brands, whatever it may be. So the notes for this one is red berries, orange fruits, orange fruits, excuse me, jasmine, jewelry root, rose, and sandalwood. So, and oh, I'm sorry. And then there's the luxurious Cambodian wood, Cambodian wood, excuse me. So you see that all those, all those fruits, man, you will pick them up 100%. This is a fruity take on oud. What they intended for this fragrance, I'm not quite sure. I don't know if they tried to maybe uh, take an oud and, and, you know, liven it up with the fruits and kind of turn it into a younger oud fragrance for maybe, you know, people in their 20s. Actually, you know, you could even wear this into your 30s and even 40s. This is a, this is a more upbeat, uplifting oud fragrance, if that makes any sense. It does to me, so... I 100% can smell red berries. So this is a dominant red berry and oud fragrance to me. To my nose, that's all I really pick up. Jasmine maybe in the opening. However, to my nose, just based off of the dry down, there's a rose, 100% there's rose there. Rose is in like the mid, you know, it's the middle player here, I feel like. And then the, just right up in your face is the berries. And it's all sitting on like a board of like oud wood. So you got this plank of wood. You got this plank of oud, you got some jasmine leaves or whatever it may be, and then you got some red berries topped all over that. That's what I get with this fragrance, and that's what I think that you will get to this fragrance. But like, you know, everybody's nose is different, so... But I'm giving you the best of my analogy and impression on this one. So, I'm gonna go ahead and spray the opening. If I remember correctly, this one opens up extremely fruity, or not extremely fruity, just with a fruit blast. And yeah, actually, it's actually a pretty good opening. I got the orange, there's the orange. Yeah, let's just make sure. Yeah, orange fruits. So it's not necessarily an orange or a mandarin or anything like that, it just says orange fruits, which I definitely get here. The jasmine is a lot more, um, a lot more in your face with the opening. Red berries, there isn't much oud. So that oud opening that I got with the, um, the Elite Blend is not here. So the oud is very, um, it's a, a very soft oud. I don't want to say clean oud because that's 
that's this one had the the clean oud in the in the in the, in the base and the dry down it was skanky in the opening not necessarily skanky but you know just a little edgy this one doesn't have the edginess this one doesn't have the edginess it's a, a a brighter fruitier take and that's essentially what i'm getting from this one that's about it jasmine rose and orange fruits in the opening and just a, a very slight brush of oud so that's what I get with this one. I think that's why I'm not too crazy about this. This is extremely unisex, extremely unisex. And that's why I love this one. But I'm just not crazy about it just because if I usually know what I want, I know that I want, I either want an oud fragrance, I want a fruity fragrance, or I want a sweet fragrance. And so for me, it's hard for me to like wear these things because this is kind of like, eh, whatever. I want to smell good. I think I want oud, I think I want fruits. That's what I get with this one. So does it smell good? Yeah, it smells good. It just has a little bit of a, it's a, a, I don't want to say feminine edge, but the fruitiness and stuff is just not decisive. Uh, it is very well blended. It, it does have a lot of good transitional phases in the fragrance. So that's my take on this one. And this one was Pure Black Oud. So this one you can also find on um, IntenseOud.com. And this one is retailing for about $100 as well, $100, $104. So these ones aren't like crazy cheapies. These are in the $100 ranges. If you can find anything cheaper than that on eBay, uh, I do have another video down, one of my first videos about how you can take the preventative measures of getting, you know, maybe a, a fake or something like that. And my steps and tips on how to make sure you get authentic fragrances and all that good stuff. Um, and so we're gonna move on to the next fragrance. And this next fragrance is actually marketed for you women out there. And this one is called Layali. Or Layali. Like, this will get you noticed, man. Look at this presentation for all you ladies out there. Or for you guys that want to give your your lady one of these. Look at that. That's Honestly, that's very nice, man. It's the only one that I kept the box for. It opens up. you got this velvety uh, cardboard box. It's really thick. It's not like some cheap stuff, and it's just sitting in there. Look at that. You can just show that off just like that. That's crazy, man. Or even just like half open. That's pretty. That's a gorgeous bottle too. Um, this one retails for about $120. This is retailed or uh, marketed for women. Um, this is a very, I don't want to say mature scent, but it's not for teens or anything like that. This one is sexy. I, I can honestly personally picture this on somebody who's 25 and older. Um, if you're thinking about the next gift for your wife or woman or girlfriend or whatever, it may baby mama, uh, all that good stuff, Number wife number two or three, uh, this one's a good one. Um, Definitely a good one. You got notes of Iranian, saffron, Indian spices, and I'm sorry, excuse me for these notes, guys. Um, I, I'm doing the best I can. This is just what's on the, uh, on the site. Uh, this one also is on intenseoud.com. Uh, and then, so the only thing listed is Iranian, Iranian, saffron, Indian spices, and patchouli. So uh, let me give this a sniff of the dry down. It's very pretty. And that's the only problem. That's the only reason why I wouldn't wear this is because, see, like I'm just inclined to say pretty. And because of that, I mean, there's nothing wrong with being pretty. You could be a pretty boy. You could be pretty whatever. You could be pretty cute, pretty hot, pretty whatever. There's a lot of pretties. But this is pretty. So for me, for my persona, for my character, like my character, this isn't for me. <sighs> Honestly, I, I, I might try wearing this one day. It's just got, I don't know, there's some floral in it that's just a little bit too much for me. But this is really good. This is really good and I can I could honestly see this on my wife. Um, let's go with the opening. Okay, so there's a little bit of an alcohol blast with this one that I didn't experience with the other two. It's a little different than what I'm used to. It is a little mature. But I'm not crazy about this one. I don't know. There's like a potpourri feel. But it's starting to go away a little bit. So that dry down that I was smelling has absolutely nothing in, in like with that potpourri vibe or just like a mashup of like alcohol fragrances and oils and stuff. And that's the vibe that I might be saying the word wrong. Excuse me. I'm sorry. It's all good. Um, is it really that serious? No, I don't think so. It's all good. I'm, ca I'm just giving it time to kind of do its thing, man. It does turn into a pretty fragrance. And that's all I can say. I'm sorry, I don't know how else to describe this one. There is oud in here. 100% there's oud in here. 
It's not a skanky oud, it's not a dirty oud. And that's all I have to say about this one. So I can't, honestly, 100%, I can recommend this one. Um, that's the Elite Blend. You know, I don't technically, normally, I don't really do reviews on feminine fragrances. Feminine fragrances, that's a tongue twister. Um, but I just thought that for this video, I'd include it anyways. You can do your own research. You can try and, uh, there are no reviews, man. That's what sucks about some of these is that there's so many fragrances out there and there's so little reviews. So I figured I wanna hit some of those that nobody talks about. Um, this one, do your research, see if you can find anything. If you feel like you have $100 to spare and you wanna go ahead and drop it and get your wife a gift, worst case scenario, she doesn't like it, you put it in the bathroom and it turns into like this potpourri whatever. There you go, you know, look at that. It's worth a hundred bucks just in display. So this is a good one. All three of these are good one. I have nothing but respect for this house, the Oud Elite, Oud Elite House. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Thanks for coming back to the channel. I hope you guys enjoyed this video half as much as I enjoyed making it for you guys. Try saying that three times real quick. And as always, love you guys.